That's why we're different. We call it the tackle, tackle and the bait. bait. Jimmy Bob's tackle and bait oh, is Jimmy everything Bob. for your catfish catching needs. You got your salmon eggs. You, you got, got your, your worms. You got your lures. You got your flies. You got some other flies. I got my fly. My fly's open. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Three Minute Critics. <laughs> oh, we're back again. And I'm Eric. I'm a Tony. He is a... I'm a Tony. <laughs> Today on Three Minute Critics, we're going to be reviewing a film from Korea okay. named Night in Paradise currently on Netflix. It is. You can check it out there. This film stars Tae Gu Yom, Yo Bin Joon, and it was directed by Park Hun Jung. And Eric is going to tell us what this film is about. All right, there's plenty to digest. Listen so up. Pay attention. So, known for his bravado and nerves of steel, Tae is the ambitious and fast rising ace of a criminal gang led by the syndicate boss, Mr. Yang. Uh, when Tegu's terminally ill sister and her daughter are both killed in an apparent hit by a rival gang, Tegu decides to take revenge into his own hands. He is then forced to flee to Jeju Island to hide out with a legendary arms dealer named Kuto and his niece Jeyun. Well, back in the city, the two warring mob leaders have a summit with a crooked officer of the government to try to avoid a full-blown war, while Tegu and Jeyeon try to negotiate a very awkwardly developing friendship. Things quickly descend into a dark nightmare, and Jeyeon is ultimately forced to make the hardest decision of his life. Whew. There's a lot in here. So let's, let's get right to it. Let's put three minutes on the clock. We shall, and Tony. Please tell me your thoughts on Night in Paradise. So you have a film that is part Shakespeare tragedy, part mm -hmm. Kill Bill, and yes, and part incredible gore. There's a lot of gore in this film. If you are not into that, I mean, it gets rough at certain sections in this film. Really rough. Now, the thing about the Shakespeare tragedy is what I really, I mean, I really feel like that's what they're going for with this. I there can see are that. some complicated connections there are some specific mirrored analogies between different characters that repeat mm -hmm. like themes like variations on a theme in this film that are very interesting and i really like that and because of those things and because of the way this film ends and because of the way there well because of the the big points in the plot right i feel like this film could have been brilliant but unfortunately mm. gets derailed by a lack of character development, which does not draw the audience in enough. And I stayed kind of on the periphery. Interesting. That's where I, that's where I am with it. What did you think? Well, uh, in terms of characters, okay, so we have the, the main character, Tegu. And yeah. So this is full of bad people. This, yeah. is all, this is all gangs, but what's interesting to me about this is there's a lot of, um, yes, you do have a lot of gore. And this is a Ooh. film that almost like, I think Tarantino would look at this and go, yeah. wow, that thing's pretty gory. It's rough. Uh, at it's, points, really at points. rough. But only at certain points, because the core of this movie is about the two main characters, mm -hmm. about Tegu and Jae-yoon, mm -hmm. and their relationship. And, core, yeah. and also about how, uh, yes, you have the typical gangster uh, story here, but you also see all this collateral damage yeah. that happens to the family members and people that are surrounded by the gang members right. and how that all falls apart and how they are affected, which you don't okay. generally see no, a lot. That's true. And I just feel like that could have been drawn in in a way by by developing these characters a little more. Let's say everything you said and everything I just said mm -hmm. also included scenes that made us care more about, about the individual characters. Agreed. If you have that, mm -hmm. instead of just long, drawn out, quiet silence with music that I couldn't stand, <laughs> if, you, if you replace that garbage with the things that we just said that really draws in these characters, you have potentially a brilliant film here. You do. Because I love the ending. Yeah, the ending was was one of the best endings I've seen in a movie in a long time. And the character Love development the was so much around the two main characters. And if they would have taken that to some of the other I didn't outline feel like characters, it, was enough, it could have been even more there, but they only focused on that if they would yeah, have taken it Yeah, the outline characters further. are hollow. You're right. Yeah. You're they, right. The outline characters and there, are hollow. And there was potential in some of these so other much characters. Potential. The acting here is really, really good, I think, across mm, the board yeah, for the most part. But the main 
Main horn. The main horn. How did that happen? I know. We, there, there's a lot in this film. We gotta change it to the eight minute critics. Yeah, I know. At least eight and a half. But in the meantime, it's already time. I don't know how this happened, but it's time to rate this film on a five star scale. So briefly, we're gonna do that. So Eric's gonna start. What'd you think? Five uh, stars. Yeah, we, well, this is, it's packed. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy bloody gangster film. And I really liked m pretty much all of this. I love the ending. Uh, very strong for me, actually. I give this a very solid three and a half out okay, of five three, stars. Okay, There's yeah. just a lot going, good going on here. What do okay. you think? Well, uh, there's a lot good going on, but with some basic tweaks, like with some editing and some character development mm -hmm. and some better music, because I feel like the music really hurt this Especially film. the character development on some of the outlying characters. Agreed. Completely yeah. agreed. Those three things, you add that to this film and you have a much higher score and a much better film. But for me, this was only a three-star film. But it was so close to so being It could have incredible. easily been amazing. It just needed a few more things. I mean, really, the ending, but the if ending you, is bomb. If you love, if you love gore and you love... <laughs> And you love a great ending? Yeah. Then, uh, then stick no, around. Yeah. No, it's it's not yeah. bad. It's 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 really there there's a ton of potential and it's an interesting film even if even if you think about the critiques. And there's a ton of potential here, but we're potentially out of time. I feel like I have a lot of potential, personally. Well, that's one way of looking at it. It's one person's I think opinion. I'm gonna be a professional skater. One person well a Okay, well, listen, we're out of time for this one, but we want to thank you so much for watching. Stick around to see what we have to say about this film, Night in Paradise. Uh, we would love for you to uh, subscribe because there's more these things coming you don't down want to miss the them. line. You don't want to miss them. You don't them. want to miss them. And uh, if you got some comments, you want to tell us what you thought about this film. I would love to know, because th on this film especially. Yeah, we'd like to get some, uh, some feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be interesting to hear what you had to say about it. But... Uh, we're out of time, so... We're out of time. Until next time, we are the... Three... Men... Critics... <laughs> like a version. Hey!